There is a lot to be grateful for. There is a lot. And you know, when Allah Azza wa Jal tests a person, He says, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ Allah tests you with something. How can you reach that level of being grateful to Allah when you are in the midst of a calamity? Because you know, when a person experiences a calamity, there are four ways to react. You can either be displeased with Allah, you can either be patient, you can either be pleased with Allah, and the highest level in a calamity is to thank Allah for the calamity. You know how you can reach this? Because when Allah tests you, He tests you with something. And He leaves a lot of that thing that He tested you with. The only way you can reach this level is by focusing on what Allah Azza wa left for you. Just like Urwa ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. He had a, a disease in his leg, so it had to be amputated. And he also had a few children. He had about four kids. And they were coming to him. And one of them was thrown off the back of the horse and kicked and he died. So they cut his foot, they amputated his legs, his leg off. And then after uh, he woke up, they gave him the news that your son had died. So you know what he said? He said, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Allah Azza wa Jal gave me two hands and two feet. And he gave me four children. Then he said, Alhamdulillah, for what Allah has taken, and that is one limb of the two hands and the two legs, and he has taken one child. He said, Alhamdulillah, for what Allah took, and Alhamdulillah, for what Allah Azza wa Jal has left with me. That's the only way to reach the highest level, which is the level of hamd during a calamity, by looking at what else is left. When you lose some wealth, Say Alhamdulillah for whatever remains. When you lose some health, say Alhamdulillah for what remains. When you lose a loved one, say Alhamdulillah for whoever remains. And so on. That's the idea. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. 